We are getting the first tour, so you can see exactly what the whole place looks like. I'm with Kim. Kim's going to give us the tour. Look, they're already cleaning up behind us. <laughs> Kim, welcome. It's so good to see you. Well, thank you so Thanks much for letting for us come in. Yes, we're excited. Give us some little ground rules about the whole place. What do we know about it? It will open this fall, right? Yes, it will open this fall. We've got classrooms almost ready to go and students signed up and we're excited. And you're a teacher here. I am. I'm the lead teacher of the secondary. I teach English uh, for high school. So we've got to watch our grammar today because she's going to correct us all <laughs> along the way. Okay, where are we now? We were just in the office. Just in the office. I don't want to go there all the time because I think we'll get in trouble, right? You know what? We're so excited this year because, you know, before we have been sharing uh, the building with Morningside Bible Church. And so this is really exciting for us. They have their own office and so much more space now. Um, we have more room for parents to sit and um, uh, to wait as, as needed, and we just didn't have that before. It was just really crowded. They would have to sit outside of the office, and so this Do you is. You have just a lot of exciting. truants. Are there a lot of kids get in trouble and they have to come to the no, office? No, we actually don't have too much. We always have a few every once in a while, you know. But even just parents coming in to kind of look at the school or ask questions or whatever it might be, wait to talk to Mr. Peters about various things. Um, so now it's really nice to have this available for them. Okay, so that's right as we come in the door. Correct. I am near the restrooms, right? This is something else I want to talk about, which is really cool for, for our kids this year. Um, in the past, we've had to share restrooms with the secondary and elementary all together. Um, and so now we have basically a separate elementary wing um, that we did not have before. And oh, so good. we'll still have some interaction with the secondary and elementary, you know, in the halls and things like that out here. But to, for them to be able to have their own area and their own restrooms, it just makes it really nice for good. them. Good. Yeah, we separate the kids because they get a little rowdy when they get older. It just, it just, it's much easier. Okay, easier for the so now we're going down the main hallway. This is the elementary wing. Um, and so one of the things that's nice this year as well uh, that we as teachers like is we have our own separate area for copying and things like that where before it was all in the office. This is the teachers? This is our the teachers little This know, is the room that you room. never get in as a student. You always want to get in there and think, what are they doing in there? Yeah. Is this trouble? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we can make copies and things like that and not have to hold up the copy machine in the office. They have their own separate copier. So that's always really make your nice. copies in advance. That's the trick, that's really, right? Well, that doesn't always happen, unfortunately. <laughs> I need to get them like done by 8 o'clock, please. Yeah, exactly. There's always something. Um, and then as we come into this area, of course, we have two uh, K-4. So these are our preschool rooms. We just added a second room. Um, and a second teacher, so we're really excited about that and the opportunities we have there. Now, it looks like they're actually starting to move in. Yeah, they're coming together. Um, you'll see as we go down, I'll show you a couple rooms that are pretty much completely finished, um, and you'll be able to see better what it will look like. Look at like. those. Can you turn back, Amy? Go yeah. and look at the big paint things. We can what even turn those? on the lights for you. Uh, this is our new teacher, and she was just recently hired. Look uh, at these paint things. So can I do finger painting? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? No, I, I'm pretty sure that she just has this for on the wall, so you see like the different um, items that she's putting on the wall just to make it fun to look at. I don't think that that's real paint. I think that's just. Oh, paint. isn't? No, I, I thought this is where we do finger painting and we could go. I in mean, there. we've got this giant paintbrush. We could have some serious fun. In here. This looks like and, and a palm tree. What <laughs> school right. doesn't need a palm that's tree, right. right? So you can see it's coming together. Like I said, she just got hired and um, is coming in here and. You know, things are just kind of getting put together for her. All right, let's keep moving. All right. So again, as we continue down the elementary room, this is Mrs. Thomas's class, our kindergarten teacher. A lot of people have come. You can come in this room. This one pretty much put together. She's just waiting on her tables. Um, again, thank you. Uh, a lot of people come because they hear about Mrs. Thomas. She's been here for years. I can't even remember how many years a she's legend, been here. Huh? Yes, and she uh, just does some great things with the kids. They um, have a lot of different things that they memorize and you know all the president's names and you know do little tunes. Quick, do you know them yes. all? Yes, no I do no, not. No, neither do I. So we're always saying, hey Miss Thomas, get your kindergarten kids in here to see. We need the help. Can you kids help? Right. Who is after so, Garfield, right? That's right. All right, let's keep moving. All right. So again, we just continue down the, the elementary wing, lots of other classrooms. Um, I'll show you another older one that is ready to go, which is this one. Um, she's been in here. It looks like we just got a couple boxes, but you can see that hers is ready to go. This is the fourth grade room. Um, Mrs. Uh, she decorates, so doesn't she's, she? So she's ready to go, yep. Looks like she could start tomorrow if she needed to. <laughs> she does a lot of fun things with the students, lots of um, singing and rhymes and things like that to help them remember even just math facts and stuff like that, so she's a lot of fun. Can I ask how many students do you have in, it, it's pre, Right. It's it's preschool, so K four, K four, all the way through twelfth grade. And in that whole range, how many are there? Uh, at this current time, there's about two hundred and eighteen, is what I was just told this morning. Okay. And we always gain more as um, we get closer.
closer to school starting. Wow. What is it like coming into a new building and having a new facility to work with? It is so surreal. I was, and I'll show you my room uh, later, but I was putting it together and finishing up yesterday. We still have some things to put on the wall, but I was just looking around and that's the word that I used to my kids. I was like, this is so surreal because um, I've been around the school for quite a while. I had four kids that have gone through, um, one still here. But uh, just to see the changes that we've gone through and to actually be here and that we've talked about this for years and years. So just I, really exciting. How kind of like roughing it were you in those early days? Was it one room and we all sat in Little House in the Prairie <laughs> school room desk? No, I did have one year where I taught a fifth, sixth combined class and it wasn't too bad, it was fun. Um, that, you know, yeah, we had some of the rooms that were a little smaller and it kind of depended on the size of the class. Sometimes I know our, our fifth grade teacher had, uh, what did she have, 19 students or something like that, maybe even 20, crammed in a pretty small room last year. And so uh, it just, you know, you just work with it and it is what it is and, you know, it's now all right. So have the space, it's yeah. like, what do we do? Yeah, we were talking about filling up the walls and stuff and you're just looking around, this is a really big wall to fill up, you know, so it's just, it's fun. Good, it's neat keep see. on, let's go. All right. So just the rest of the, the elementary wing here, um, and then we can finish up as we come down here. So we have um, our IT uh, leader's um, office. He's kind of behind here, so this is Joe's office, and we have some other rooms here. There, Some Here's of these Joe. rooms you'll see. Here's Joe, meet yeah, Joe. Joe, he's the IT guy. <laughs> I finally get an office. <laughs> and if the Wi-Fi doesn't work here, it's his fault. I'm the one you call. He does a great job. We, we call him for help, and boy, he's right there to help us out. Um, a lot of these rooms aren't finished, as you see as we go down here. Uh, they're not ready to go. We have um, storage right at this moment because the science room is still being worked on. Oh, wow. And so a lot of her supplies and things are in here. But these will be like reading recovery type rooms where we can pull some kids out and help read with them, maybe work with math with them and different things like that so that they can have some extra help that they need. Now, this last year, you had a lot of achievers uh, who graduated yes. from the school. I think we had, it was, we had a number of them who also graduated from Western Iowa Tech. Yes, we had four students this year that graduated with their associate's degree from Western Iowa Tech. That is so, so unreal. Very exciting. Yeah, they were very, very high achievers. How does something like that happen? Uh, they just started working early on and they just, yeah, we just have a good group of kids that just want to work hard and are like, hey, let's do more, let's do this. And yeah, it's just been really neat to see. And you guys encourage it and say, let's do it. Absolutely. And, but we don't want it to be something that they feel like they have to do. But we certainly lay that out for them and say, hey, here's an option for you. If you would like to do this, what a great opportunity. How does that help with their, you know, their future then? Is that something that you say, you know what, now you're ready for college perhaps more than anybody because you've actually been in college? Or where does that sit in terms of preparation for life outside of school? So I can say from personal experience that I've had three children that have used that and gone on to college and what happens is it's great because they've already had that interaction they kind of see how it is they're not as nervous going into that sure. next step but also they've been able to go in and my kids have had like a year or even more that's already done for them so they have like mostly their gen eds out of the way sure it saves them money and it helps them so that right away they can get into their actual course of study that they oh want that's great yeah. that's great okay tell me and we'll keep moving i don't need to stop i do stuff, before so. we go too far i want to talk about this punching room, which bags is totally not ready and it's kind of ironic it's punching that, there's, bags. that there's punching bags in here <laughs> again this is going to you know storage right now it's going to be taken out and those are for you know our our gym and things like that but this is something that's exciting that we've talked about. Um, Y'all maybe have heard of the movie War Room. Yes. Um, and so some of our staff and our students kind of jumped on that idea, and they would like us to have a little war room, basically. So they're going to set this up um, and then have an area where people can come and pray, where there can be prayer requests on the, on the wall. And we have a lot of students that like to meet together and have a little devotional groups and, and Bible study groups. And so we're hoping to have this area open for them to be able to do something now, like that. Now, you're not one religion specific, right? No, it's not like, oh, we're just this church yep. doing this. Any religion could come here. Absolutely. And we have all kinds. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with religion in school? How is there a time to pray? Is there, do you start with prayer in the morning or do yep. you have... Where does, how does that all fit yes, in? Yes, we start with prayer in our classes in the morning. Um, a lot of us as teachers, well, everybody does probably a Bible verse or something like that. Um, some of us have like a quick devotional or something where we talk a little more detail about the Bible verse. Uh, we do have chapel on Tuesdays and Thursdays where we have a, a man by the name of Bill Clays. He comes in and he speaks um, and helps us out with that. We have a lot of other speakers from the community, different churches and things like that that come in, and we always love that um, to have them come in and talk to us. Of course, Bible classes as well. Um, and then just throughout the day as we're teaching, um, it's just a really neat opportunity as we for the teachers, 
um, when things come up, we can point them back to the Bible and say, hey, I know you're struggling with this or we're having a hard time um, connecting something that we're doing in the classroom with a real life experience. And we're able to bring the Bible into that and discuss that. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. You know, as a kid, I always had prayer in the, in the classroom mm -hmm. because whenever I needed help for a test, I would always pray before the test. So yeah. just know that I have never had to worry about prayer in the classroom because I've always had it. <laughs> well, we always joke with the kids, it doesn't quite work if you didn't study and then you come right. and pray. Right. You can't just rely all on way. God to help you through this. But right, exactly. Good, exactly. war room. We're right, going to see that. Yeah, so that's exciting. Um, we have a new uh, added math teacher this year uh, and a new added English and history teacher. This has been a huge excitement for me as a secondary teacher. Uh, the secondary, we've been kind of stuck where we've done everything from seventh and even sometimes sixth grade all the way through twelfth grade. And boy, that is a lot to, for us to teach. Um, and some of the classes have been combined when they were smaller. But now we've gotten large enough, we can separate the classes. We've been able to call in some other teachers. So now I am only teaching English for high school this oh, wow. year rather than having to teach all the way down to 6 through sure. 12. And the amount of work that that takes off the my plate is, yeah. is amazing. So that is a huge help for us. So a new math teacher for junior high and then um, English and history, she's helping Super. us Super. So. Is there room to expand? Let's say that it keeps growing and keeps growing. Will you be able to expand here or would you need to go somewhere else? Yes, and maybe Joe can help us out with that a little bit, but I know that we have some area upstairs and is there not some talk of- Yes, there's also the, the next phase of, of the school building is to actually build, we actually have it plumbed and electrical underneath this back area here so that when we go to that next phase, we'll actually build a high school wing that will come up the hallways are already built for it, so the doors that right now go outside to the east will actually go right into that high school wing and it will be built over second story and over the roof of this main original building. And uh, that will be the high school wing in the future, so it's very exciting. How fun is that? Of course, you can always have Menards as your annex and you just <laughs> go over there and teach classes and that's shop right. and whatnot. that's right that'd be fun you're there uh, we have a new art room with this year because we also have a new art teacher so we're excited about that um science room uh, as well this one was a room that we're very excited about um last year this is mrs ball um and she hi miss ball she teaches um science for the high school and last year she was stuck in like this little portable outside you know with with no access to the things that she's gonna have access to here so we're so excited about the room so this is gonna be a has. lab she'll have this a whole is, lab she'll here. have an actual lab so this is the one that they're really trying to work on and get put up you can see they have the, the shower thing ready to go and some other things that they're getting ready and um i i think she's gonna have like a i don't even know maybe you could talk to that too all the different things that you're gonna have this year that you didn't have last year <laughs> access to a building <laughs> yeah it, it's to be inside yeah. and not feel like she's and you get to blow things up that's right. Hopefully, yeah, we'll have a few more that'll come out, out of the ceiling and we'll be able to go over the top of my desk up here. That'll hopefully get installed before school and yeah, pretty exciting. How exciting. Yes. We're moving on. And uh, this is my room, so of course oh, I'm good. very excited about this one. Yes, this is mine. Um, my oldest daughter is very artistic, so I have to point out that she made this for me. Her, Rebecca, she made this for me yesterday. And, um, his, this is my younger daughter. Are you um, the she's the only untalented one? Untalented artistic one. Yeah, she, okay. she is my organizer. <laughs> she she's my organizer, and she's been helping me a lot as well. And she's a junior this year. She's my last one that's still in school. Can I ask you what's the what's the real thrill about going to school here? What's the real thrill? Like, yeah. what's my favorite part? Yeah. What's uh probably just how fun and how close we all are together. I mean, like all of us students, we just are like a little family and we all like goof around together and we all know each other so well. And so. Can, can I ask the difference between this and a public school? What is the difference as you see I it? I think, I mean, that's one of the main differences that I see is we're so close because there's, there's not as many of us and we get to be together for everything. And so we're together in all our different sports and all our different everything. And so we get a lot more. And then also we get a lot more opportunities for sports and extracurriculars, you just get to be involved in a lot more things than you would in public. How weird would it be to be in a new school then? Is it just like, oh my God, I can't believe it? Yeah, it's crazy for me. I mean, I've been at the old school literally my entire life. Like, my entire life before I was even bar born, I was in that school, so. Yeah, that's just really exciting. So it's look, crazy. you get to really ruin this building if you yeah, want to. Yeah, pretty right? much. <laughs> well, well, let's keep on working, keep on working. I think you have a great room. Yes. Look at that big TV. Yes, we're, this is exciting too. We had smart boards in the other 
uh, building. But this is really cool. These are Promethean boards, and Joe got us all hooked up, and so we're really excited to start playing around on, on these. They have like 10 points that um, you can touch and things like that. My husband um, is really into computer, and he's also a teacher, actually, and he said, gosh, I'm kind of jealous that, that I don't have one of those in my classroom, so it's kind of So can you turn it to some TV station and watch some shows in the afternoon? Days of Our Lives does start <laughs> no. at a certain time. <laughs> I don't know about that. We, okay. won't, we won't be doing that. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, we'll keep moving. All right. All right, so this pretty much finishes the secondary wing. Um, we didn't look at a lot of those classes. I know we have like an IT. Uh, I, I don't know. All, what, Joe, what are we doing in this room? Because that, that is a huge the, uh, board in there. This is really exciting. Let's slip in here yeah. real quick. He can um, speak to this one. So as the computer guy, I'm really excited about this part. Um, this is a 138-inch active wall by Promethean. So the screens that you saw that Mrs. Perry was just showing, 10-touch um, screens, these our multi-point huge wall, very exciting stuff. And we're working on getting a Mac Lab in here. We have a new uh, teacher, Ms. Jan Jana Malloy, who is going to be teaching uh, video editing, photography, graphic design. And also when we get to the gym, you'll see that we have Dactronics equipment up on the wall. We have a big message center from Dactronics. Um, and we're gonna figure out and play with and how to make graphics for the games and different activities. So the students can actually make the graphics that will go up and be in the gym during the games for kids when they do the replay. Uh, yeah. We're not going to have the instant replay, but we're going to have a lot of the, the neat graphics of you know, something starting on fire and uh, big booms and fun stuff. So it's very exciting to see that the kids are going to get to be involved and the students will actually make the stuff that goes on the message center uh, and we're going to teach them how to run it. So it'll be all student-led by that time. So it'll be so fun really for the neat. kids to see their work. Their up, work up on yeah. the boards, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Now can I ask about the reasons for people coming here to school? Why do they choose to come here? There must be a reason for it. And, and I'm sure religion is part of it. Absolutely. But what is the pull? What is it that they're looking for? I think everything from, like you said, religion. I think um, there's so many different reasons. It just kind of depends on the family. Sometimes they do like the idea of small class sizes and they feel like, oh, maybe Maybe we want them to be in a smaller group and maybe have a little more one-on-one -on -one with the teachers. And, and you have a like great that. ratio, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's our, like 13 our, to 1, I read at one point. Yeah, I feel like uh, my daughter just did some numbers the other day. I, I feel like she figured out that the average class size is, is about 13 or 16. I can't remember. Um, something along those lines. So um, it just makes a nice, a nice class size. We do have some that are a little larger, around the 20s uh, and things like that. But they talked about trying to cap it around 25 so that we can still keep that. Um, working one-on-one -on -one type of situation sure. yeah and I think just situations sometimes the kids are having a hard time in, in a different school and so then they come here and just with being in a different environment somehow they're able to just do a lot better and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't sure sure but um, yeah the, the closeness that my daughter was talking about that the kids had opportunity it, yeah yes that like I, I was talking to you earlier my son uh, decided his junior year to start playing basketball and he got to jump right in and play basketball on the team. And, and that's difficult. Great thing yeah. To be able to do. Yeah. So it's cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just lots of lockers, obviously, here. This area we're excited about. This is our multi purpose room, and they're, they're going to do some flooring and things in here later. I'm not exactly sure. Joe probably knows what they're going to do with that. But um, this is so fun because we have our own stage, wow. we have a, a... Well, you do plays, I know you did, did a show last year. Yes, we had several students um, go to state for the first time ever, um, and so they've never even tried out, and wow. we had several um, get to that, that those steps, so that was very exciting, and so we're gonna have, you know, curtains in our own stage up here. Um, we're also gonna have curtains that we can close all the way around to kind of be able to do all kinds of different activities and events in here. Um, I know that they can do some junior high type athletics in here, they're gonna put some Back, the backboards are up so we can do even basketball in this area as well um, for some of the younger kids. So this is really exciting. We'll probably have some recess time and just all kinds of activities um, we're excited about. Are we looking into the lunch room? Yes, the lunch room. I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah. I think we need the lunch room. <laughs> this is where our students will be seated during lunchtime. Gourmet meals every day, oh, right? Of course. We're going to have all that good uh, stuff. Let's do a quick peek, okay. peek in the gym before we take okay. you upstairs. 
we do have locker rooms and stuff, of course, down this area that are much nicer than, you know, the, the other ones was just, they were just old. Oh, wow, so, look at the floor. This is beautiful. Joe, do you coach? Uh, yes, I'm a football coach. But, yep. So you won't be in here. We don't uh, get to use no, this room. I don't, get to, I don't get to enjoy this floor the way that the other sports get to enjoy it. Um, but this is uh, a very neat, unique floor. So some places you go, you say, oh, yeah, this, this was neat and that was neat. And Sue Lane Christian, people will say, well, I may not remember Sue Lane Christian, but I remember this floor. <laughs> and so when we had the, um, the installation team that came from Des Moines to do the installation, they talked during the entire installation that this was a very unique floor. They hadn't seen someone else do it this way. Um, but the, the type of, of wood that it is, um, and our Suling Christian the Eagle Crest that we have in the middle, um, we're going to have bleachers on both sides. The floor needs to harden a little more and then we'll get those in here. Um, but it's really just a, a neat, neatly put together system. We can play basketball east and west as well as north and south and the same with volleyball. So we're going to be able to have tournaments. Um, I think when they did this, we had a 1,200 person capacity gymnasium. So once the bleachers are all installed, plenty of room for everybody in here. It's coming along and this is the Dactronic board that I was talking about before. The, it's, a, it's a huge wall, but it's also a big screen. It's six by 10. Um, and we have speakers from Dactronic, so it's one unit. It'll be really neat to, to see all put together. If you've come to some of our games in the past at our old building, um, the sound left a little something to be desired, but we've corrected that in this building, so it's really exciting. What kind of wood is the floor? You know, it looks Brazilian. It is a, it is a, um, a grade three um, maple. I don't know where okay. it's from, but right. it, it, is, it is not what they usually use in gymnasium floors. Okay. And I think we probably shouldn't have been walking on the floor, but that's just my my take on this. Don't tell the athletic director. We're, we're with Joe. He says we can do whatever we can. Okay, okay we're moving. All right, we can take you upstairs really quick. This is just fun to have the big balcony and everything. And just, it's just a fest. This is where we throw the paper airplanes down. Yeah, you kind of picture <laughs> that happening. I don't know. This year they have a little area that they're working on right around the corner here um, that they're gonna try to get some little booths and stuff I heard they just heard yesterday I think some little like almost like cafe type booths uh, in here and have a nice little lounge area um, for oh, the fun. students for in between and things yeah. like that so that'll be really fun this is just set here for now it's sure. obviously not gonna look like that but um, yeah that's gonna be exciting for them um, and then we have an elevator uh, that <laughs> is so strange for us being in on one Elevator. So yeah, so that's kind of fun. Um, this is uh, our secondary math teacher. Um, you can take a quick peek in here just to see the difference in the look of the rooms. Um, look with at the, the, the large. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. And then you'll know how busy Arby's is. I so know. So if you need to run over right away and get something, you're good. I said I feel like Arby's is going to get a little boost in uh, yes. sales. We're all going to be running over there to get snacks. All right, so this is kind of cool for her. Um, one of the things that we're really excited about, um, our, well, we have a weight room here too. I forgot about that. So that's kind of fun. This is where you hang out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Kids get out here, it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. sure. This is a place I probably wouldn't be. <laughs> Um, one of the rooms I want to show you is our band and choir room. Uh, last year, our band and choir teacher, she was down in the basement, and they had this huge pole in the middle of the way, and there just was not a lot of room. It's down here. Um, and so... I see the music. Yeah. And so to have her be able to go, basically we joke about her going from the basement to the penthouse kind of thing, she just has this great um, amount of space, and the room is just beautiful, so we're just really excited for her. Um, to be able to come in and have the space that's available to her for band, choir. She also teaches theater, um, and so she's just been a massive uh, and leading within the process to our school as well. And she'll have her own office um, in here where she just didn't have that last year. Sure, oh, that's so wonderful. It's really How good is the band? Is the band good? It's so good. It's been so neat to hear them in the choir. Um, just feeling the stage now. 
we had some years where we didn't have a high school choir at all, um, or a very minimal uh, band uh, of students, and so to have such a large group of kids in there, and just, they sound so wow. good, so it's Well, then you'll have graduation here, I'm assuming. No, we had graduation this last year here, you did. which was really cool. It was obviously not done, none of the rooms were done or anything like that, but we were able to finish it enough to have graduation here. Oh, wow. Just because we had so many students, we couldn't even fit to have graduation at our old building. So it's really exciting. So that was our first event, actually, that we had here. Cool. So it's been christened. It's been christened, yes. yes. Okay, good. That means the good, the good vibes are there. Okay, what so, more do we need to see? I think this is all. Joan, do you think there's anything else that maybe we would, or is there anything else that you would like to see? Well, I didn't show you the locker rooms. They're downstairs, but... Um, I've seen where the where the principal is, and so then I, if I get in trouble, I know where to go. So you know where to go. That's I right. know where to go for lunch. That's right. I know where to go for band and music. That's right. I know where the theater department is, and I know where we'll find Joe. He'll be in the weight room. <laughs> right? Joe We're is kind of everywhere. Joe everywhere. is yeah. Joe is everywhere. He's ever. You should be so proud. It's so nice we to are see so this. We're so excited. It's, it, you know, it's been so cool to see how God has worked and blessed and moved to get everything here. And there have been so many people. Um, that have prayed and have donated their time and their money that it, I, we just can't even thank them enough. It's just been really, really cool. I don't want to say this, but I bet you're waiting for school to start. And yes and no. I wait. I love the idea of being in here and it's just so exciting. But, you know, I'm a teacher too, so you're like, ah, school. Yeah, we still but have a then, few more weeks. Then the more you think about it, you're like, oh, gosh, I can't wait to get in there and start the halls. And I heard a couple students talking in here yesterday and they were like, I kind of can't wait for school to start. So that was pretty cool to hear too. Aww. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Remember, we're doing Facebook Live more often than not, and we can hardly wait for the start of school. So nice. have a great and first you'll have day. To, you'll have to come back and we will be again. back. We will be back to see it's that first day, too. Great. Okay? Have a good one. Thank you.